हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन एस्टमो चैनल गाइस आई एम रामकिश सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग आवर फ्यूजन टू मल्टीप्लेयर सीरीज दैट इज द बेस्ड ऑन एयर मोड सो आई हैव जस्ट कंप्लीटेड द होस्ट मोड मेंटेन अ लॉट्स ऑफ कंसेप्ट एंड इट इज अ लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द होस्ट मोड मीन्स सर्वर होस्ट और सर्वर मोड सो इट विल बी वेरी ईजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द एयर मोड एंड शेयर मोड इज नॉट दैट मच कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इफ यू आर जस्ट फॉलोइंग मी फ्रॉम माई होस्ट मोड so you are just aware but if you are visiting first time so let me explain that uh, where you can start what you can do so here is my patreon page and if you have not watched so first you can go and watch here is the host mode so you can watch whole tutorial that will help us to understand concept complex concept of uh, fusion 2 that is a basic not that much advanced we will do the advanced thing if you want to start anything so first you have to understand the basic then you can start anything otherwise you will not understand anything and then we are starting the shared mode so here i have created one playlist that is the share mode and in share mode i have added a few tutorials like two tutorials from the host mode because project setup and basic topology is same in both like in first i have explained the what is the topology and uh, you have to choose the topology so if you are going to create the host or server so you have to follow this but if you are not going to host or server you are just want to start in share mode so you can start from the share mode and you have i am starting this tutorial from the third point because first two tutorials in host is same so i'm providing uh, in shared mode two tutorials first one is about the network topology second one is project setup so if you have project setup so you can follow this series and if you don't want to watch this all above so you can just watch two tutorials so basically it is uh, just my patreon page basically you can just grab this source code here so here i'm providing my source code and i was promised to give you on two dollar but patreon allows us uh, at least three dollars so you have to pay three dollars and ios user four dollar i think because uh, it is a patreon rule that they provide the one dollar more for the ios user so basically you can grab this host mode source code so here we are in the unity and this is the current project basically fusion scene one is a uh, host mode so we are doing for share mode so we are starting so just project setup is the uh, same 100 percent you have to not worry about it. and you can pass the id which i have explained in my tutorial so you can go and watch the uh, that second part okay so take one scene and give the name shared mode so just go on the share mode and here you can see you get the scene that is the share mode so first thing you can do is 3d and you can get one plane that is our ground basically you can give the value basically you can reset from here so you can pass the plane materials and second thing you can just add one player so 3d you can take the capsule and if it is it is not reset so just reset is and currently it is on zero zero so just drop above and it is one okay so basically this will be our player now we have created our environment basically this is the simple environment and now if you have set up the project so i'm Uh, so make sure you have watched my make sure you have watched my second part so that you can set you have set up your project after this you can click on the right and here is the fusion and here is the scene and in the scene here you can see setup networking in the scene so just click here so after the clicking you can you will get prototype network start and you will get prototype runner so in first part and in second part i have explained about the network runner network runner play a very important role in the fusion because it is a hurt so in host mode in server mode we just created a script and import the network runner but in share mode uh, they provide that we can get the directly like here you can see prototype runner and here is the network runner and here is the network events so if you have watched my and server so basically we created the script and we are able to explore this events but currently we are getting on the one game object that is the network runner and network event so basically these are the very important event like on input on input missing on connected to server on disconnect from server on connected request we have seen in the host and server so basically we are getting all the method and we can just plus here and then we can apply our method here okay so we will explore about this thing but uh, this is the uh, build thing 
so you have to not worry about thing but network runner play a very important role everything perform in network everything perform in fusion by using their network runner so it should be in the hierarchy i was explain and if it is not so you can just inherit it and second thing is prototype start network so basically it is the fusion bootstrap fusion thread debug ui basically it provide the ui that you can just play around it what you want take the states like whenever we uh, play the game so we are able to see the states so if you want to check that uh, what is the happening around your application so you can just go fusion scene and in scene here you can see add fusion state so just you can add this one and after the adding this one whenever you will run so just run and let's see what's happening so here you can see we are able to see the things currently it is nothing happening so that's why it's not doing and you can click on the start ho so here you can see that is the start shared client so just click here so here you can see we are able to debug and this is the just player this is not network player so we have just added one we will set up that one so don't worry so here is the debug thing we are able to see the things basically it is going on the multiplayer so what we have to do we have to make it that is the you can uh, perform the network transform basically it will transform our player but first thing we have to make it network so basically you have to make network object so we have added the network object and here is the this object had not been baked at so just control s so it will get back otherwise you have to just play here if it is network on the network so we want to sync our position in transform so you can perform network transform add network transform okay and then we want to just move around the environment so we need character controller so now we have attached everything what it needs to be instantiate on the network so just control s then go in the prefab and here is the everything is for host and server so create one folder that will be shared so it is shared folder and just take your player and drag here okay and you can delete here now it come to the script so go in the script and here is the fusion so basically create one folder here and that will be so this will be share mode so just click here and then right click here and then create a script that will be player spawner okay okay great so this player spawner can be aid on the network starter basically it help us to start our application so just click here and then open this script so now here we are in the script so just delete this one or use using so we want fusion so here is fusion and you can just remove this here is mono behavior you can use the simulation behavior click simulation behavior inherit the mono behavior and here is you can use i and then so here is a i player joint so just click here so basically it is the interface so you can click here to in implement so basically whenever i am doing so i am able to get player joined and here is a player reference and here is the so you can just remove this one and now we have to take player reference so use serialized field and use private and then we want a game object so it is a normal game object because we have updated the network object so we don't need that and then we can do now what we have to do so we have to use the runner so use runner so we are not able to get the runner so you can just remove this mono behavior and use simulation behavior this will allow us to use the the runner and then spawn so basically what we have to spawn we have to spawn i will explain about the this method so this will be our player and then <clears throat> here will be our position so we have taking everything on the zero position and we need one f in y and then everything will be zero f. and rate is float so you can use f and then we want to provide the rotation so use the quaternion so here is the quaternion we have to use the identity like same rotation okay so here we are having the red marks so this is just because player reference is player so we are using the same name so here we can use player just change the name so player character you can keep the name and here you can do player so now it is okay because here it asks for the game object okay so just control as script like whenever uh, we will join means as a local player join so it will spawn but if it is just coming from other player so automatically it instantiate the other player uh, other player instance in our mobile application in our 
device we have made one mistake that is the prototype network start m object we have added the player spawner so it should not be here because it is just a ui thing basically we have to use prototype runner so that it can access our runner go in the so basically go in the script and add player spawner here and then we have to pass our player okay so if you have make same mistakes you have to just remove it like you have to remove from prototype network to on the prototype runner okay basically everything perform on the runner so it get all the references automatically start shared client one so now you can see we have the player that is a player clone and we are able to see the player so in next part what we will do we will just learn about that how we can move this game object so that we can see the movement so see you in next part bye bye take care and don't forget to like subscribe and share you can support me on my patreon page by just buying anything or just you can just buy coffee for me so thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video bye bye take care